Well, epidemiology is the study of the distribution of either disorders or traits um, in the population. And it can be used in two sorts of ways, both of which we used on the Isle of Wight. Um, one is giving you information for the planning of services, in other words, a very practical um, uh, role for epidemiology. But the other is using uh, the evidence on associations between risk factors and, in our case, psychopathology, as a way of getting ideas on causal mechanisms. And so I was keen from the outset to be able to use epidemiology in this sort of way. Aware, of course, uh, that observational data uh, you've got to be questioning of as to whether the inference of causation is justified or not. All people in behavioral sciences learn early on that you can't infer cause from a correlation or an association. Uh, because it may be a coincidence, it may be due to selection into the groups that are associated, a whole variety of reasons. But um, you can uh, get much closer uh, to a causal inference, um, provided that you have an experimental approach. Uh, now, sometimes you can actually use experiments, but of course, in mental disorder, uh, many of the risk factors you, you can't manipulate experimentally. It would not be ethical or practical. So one of the things that over the years that I've been very much involved with is finding ways of using natural experiments uh, as a way of testing the possibility that it is involved in a causal pathway. Uh, of course, with multifactorial disorders, disorders due not to a single cause but a lot of things coming together, um, there isn't a basic cause. Uh, but on the other hand, there certainly are factors that make a huge, uh, play a huge part in the causal pathway. So that, for example, um, the study of Romanian adoptees, children who'd suffered profound deprivation, in Romania, uh, there are two sorts of ways in which one could test the causal inference. The first is, if the environment changes, does their behavior and their development change? And the answer was clearly yes. There was a dramatic catch-up, not complete, uh, but very substantial. So that made it clear that something about the conditions before they came to this country, i.e., in the depriving institutions had caused their problems. But then you've got another way, which is that some of them had deficits. They didn't fully recover. They had problems of various kinds. So then the question is, can you show systematic relationships between their pre-adoption experience and their outcomes? And what we have found is, yes, strong effects, and moreover, effects that are as powerful at age 11 as they were at age 6, as they were at age 4. So in this way, you have a fairly powerful inference that in some way these are involving causal pathways. And so the skill... Um, if you like, both the art and the science of using epidemiology in this way is thinking of circumstances that will test. Mm -hmm.